With the tablet war fiercer than ever, and with a wave of eagerly anticipated new devices hitting stores across the summer, we bring you a roundup of the 10 best tablets now taking on the might of the iPad. The ViewSonic ViewPad 7 has been available for a while now, and while it runs only Android 2.2, it can be snapped up for a bargain price if you shop around a bit. The rebadged Lynx Comtiva FM6 version is available for well under £200. While our list is dominated by Android devices, let's not forget about poor old Windows 7. While it's not exactly an OS that's optimised for touchscreen interfacing, many people out there will like the added comfort of the keyboard dock and the compatibility with traditional desktop programs. While the HTC Flyer does not run Honeycomb yet, it can boast a new version of HTC Sense which works well with videos and email. The question is, can a single core device survive in this increasingly dual core world? Acer's A500 tablet lacks the sparkle of some of the other Android 3 tablets in our list. While it's as capable and as powerful as many of the others, it lacks the finesse, sleek good looks and additional functionality to be found on offer elsewhere. The HP Touchpad comes running the WebOS software we first used on the Palm Pre. It's a gorgeous operating system which uses on-screen cards instead of Windows or home screens. It's got bags of potential, but for now the touchpad is a bit slow and inconsistent to be worth a place higher up our list. The LG Optimus Pad is easy on the eye and has a dual 5 megapixel rear-facing camera for taking 3D pictures and video, a decent screen and Android 3.0. Apart from a fair price point, this tablet has it all and we think well worth considering if you're mad about 3D. The Motorola Zoom was the first tablet to come out rocking NVIDIA's super powerful Tegra 2 chip and running the tablet friendly Android 3 OS. While it's older than the other tablets and lacks a bit of sparkle, if you're looking for a slick iPad alternative, this tablet certainly deserves testing out. The BlackBerry Playbook is one of the smallest tablets on the market, designed to be ultra-mobile and business-friendly. While it can be proud of its power and its brilliant multitasking capabilities, it's certainly held back by a lack of apps and a dependence on owning a BlackBerry smartphone. The ePad Transformer is no ordinary tablet. It packs hidden secrets. At just 429, it comes with its own keyboard dock, which not only adds an extra USB port and SD expansion slot, but also boosts battery life to around 16 hours. For your outright tablet performance though, the forthcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is our favourite. It's slimmer and lighter than the iPad 2, has a gorgeous screen, and packs the same Tegra 2 innards that powers the other Android 3 big hitters. This is the Android tablet we've been waiting for.